Hi, so we're going to have a look at the IPPA solution that we've been developing here in Commend UK. Now here I have a Microsoft Surface tablet running Studio by Commend along with two IPPA speakers, a EE900 master handset and a GE800 intercom server. So here on my graphics I have a layout of the building that I'm standing in right now and I can actually select any of the rooms and it will highlight to say that I've selected them. If I want to now make an announcement to these rooms, I simply play, press the live talk button. <coughs> Testing one, two. And that makes the live announcement for me. If I wanted to do a predefined message, I can do that. I can select any combination of the rooms and just simply choose from the predefined messages here on the right. So for example, I could select generic message and then press send message. This is a generic PA message created intentionally for you to ignore. If I wanted to change the language of this, I actually can do that by pressing on, for example, French, and then choosing a different message, and pressing send. Ceci est un test de fonctionnalité du système de sonorisation. If I wanted to do more than one play of that, I could have the option down here to choose different play amounts. I can do times two, infinite, or that is configurable if there's any other combinations that we'd want. I can also do on the fly messaging as well, where I build the wording up myself. So for example, if I select this room here, I can choose that there will be a fire drill at three o'clock and press send. today at three o'clock. I can also send secure messages. So if I select a room and then I choose a secure message, it will actually ask me for a pin code. I can actually type in my pin code. It will ask me to confirm. And now I have access to these extra couple of messages. So for example, I can choose this one and press send. This is a secured PA message. So also I have enabled line fault monitoring on this. So therefore, if any of the IPPA speakers were to go offline, this will actually tell you by showing you which room is currently offline. So if I simulate one of the speakers to be unplugged from the network, you will see this is what it gives us. We have to first of all acknowledge, and now that room has basically gone dark. Once the connection is restored and the line fault is resolved, the room will come back to normal and once again be selectable to do a message. Finally, I would just like to show the feature of the message manager. So here, I actually have the ability to record up to six messages into a kind of bank. So for example, I can select message number one and record in. Testing message number one. I press the button again to save it. I can preview it by pressing the play button. Testing message number one. And then I can actually send that message out by just simply making sure I have selected a room, press message one and press send. Testing message number one. I could do a different message uh, to a different group if I needed, so I could choose number five, record. Testing message number five. That saves that in, and I just simply select message number five and press send. Testing message number five. So all of these events are all being recorded into the Com Reporter database as well, and any live announcements that I make are also being recorded with the uh, Comrec audio recorder.